Okay, here we are again back in our series parallel circuit series. Um, last time we looked at faults for shorts in the series portion of our series parallel, and this time we are going to look at a short in the parallel portion of our series parallel. So on the screen you will see a um, line appearing for an alternate path of current around R3 and um, an arrow that indicates that new path and you will also see the um, arrows for current disappearing in branch one. Now of course the reason for this is that current takes the path of least resistance and a wire around R3 will provide a much less resistive path than 2000 ohms in branch one. So we see current um, only going through branch two, and again, um, we have a series parallel that has turned into a series circuit with only one path for current. So we look quickly at um, resistance. We know that resistance was 3K. We know that's going to change. Now, of course, our resistance is 2K, which is the resistive value of R1 because um, we shorted around R3. R3 has no ohmic value, so the entire ohmic value is only um, the resistance of R1, which is 2K ohms. So our resistance has gone down. Again, perfect chance to look at the Ohm's Law arrow theory, and we know that our applied voltage has not changed. If resistance is going down, we can determine that current must be going up. So we look at total current, and we did have 4 milliamps of current, and that has changed. Now we have our 12 volts divided by our R1, which is 2,000 ohms, and our new current is 6 milliamps, which is indeed higher than it originally was. There's really no need to look at um, the current through our branches. We know branch 1 has no current flow, and we know that branch, branch 2 is actually part of our series circuit, so it sees total current, which is 6 milliamps. So we'll look instead at voltage. Um, we did have a voltage of 8 volts on R1 when the, ser when the series parallel was functioning correctly. And of course, now we see that because R1 is our only component within the circuit, if we take our total current, 6 milliamps, multiply by 2K ohms, we have our 12 volts of applied voltage on R1 which means, of course, that we have zero volts out on our parallel, which is perfectly normal because if we were to look at the voltage on that, it, we would do Ohm's Law, which is zero ohms multiplied by six milli, and that would give me zero volts. So both R2 in uh, branch one and R3 in branch two will read um, zero volts if you were to put your meter across them because there's no potential difference on either side since all current is flowing through the um, short in branch two that is around R3. Okay, and that pretty much covers it for a short in a parallel of a series parallel circuit. Um, we're gonna go into change values next, but once we finish this portion of the series, we will do um, a short couple of videos that cover shorts and opens in um, series parallel circuits where branches have multiple components. So look for that in the future.